what what was the lore behind? Did like the pet did like the magic candy give him the pet? Is that what that's what's going on? I don't know, but greetings out of these and guardians. My name is Hyperheims, and guess what? Kick around oven break out a new update. Clash of Gr Dragons, it got updated again. And for some reason, on no wait, that's Pataya. What am I saying? No, wait, there we go. That's Ananas's costume. Oh, that's another costume for uh Dinosaur. And basically that's it. They added a new addition for uh Ananas and Pataya. Which, I was actually wondering, huh, oh, that's a nice guy. I was like, huh, you know, why didn't they give Ananas and Pataya legendary costumes? There we go, there's the twist. They just never reveal these costumes in the update uh, preview video. But, okay, so, as you can see, yeah, we already know about this legendary update stuff, yada yada. But also now, we now have access to uh, Pataya Dragon Kick, no, that's wrong, Ananas Kiki's uh, Magic Candy, and didn't we already buy the pet? I think we did, but, uh... Whatever, but basically, I think Ananas now has a new trial that we can experience, which is cool. Uh, Clash of the Great Dragon is now back with Chapter Two, where we're most likely to go we're most likely going to see these two idiots fight. Uh, legendary Kiki costumes: we got one for Ananas and one for Pataya, which both look really cool. I must admit. Uh, increased chance, we'll see about that. Uh, also, something else that got added is another jelly-shaped set for uh, Pataya Dragon, and this is the jelly-shaped set for Ananas Dragon. With another thing being added, being the dinosaur kiki costume, being dragon warrior, which looks cool, but you don't look like a panda. I hope someone got that joke. That's it for this area. And also for the side, we also have a team fight boost, which is a new season, so team fights back. That's cool. And also curious rainbow mine. That was a thing, but I thought I never checked. And follow and subscribe event. That's really cool. Why not? Uh, I don't think there's really much else left to offer here other than like the community videos and like the notices. Uh, so yeah, there's that. I do want to give a quick check, because, like, if I go to cookies... Nope, that's that's the wrong button. If I go over to, uh, the gotcha, right? Uh, there's, yeah, there's nothing, because, so I already have the pets. Uh, but costumes... So there's a straight up a whole gotcha dedicated to Pataya Dragon Cookie, and there's a whole costume gotcha dedicated to Ananas Dragon Cookie. So we're probably gonna like pull two times here at some point, and I could just buy these if I wanted to, but they cost so because they're legendaries. These are legendary costumes. She like we have Raging Calamity for Ananas and Blinding Flame. Wait, bl Blinding? Yeah, Blinding Flame of Glory for Pataya. So those are great, and you can't forget about the new super epic costume being Fallen Warrior. Wait, is fa wait Fallen Warrior? Hold on a second. Go back to the little uh, announcement things over here. What what did they call this? Uh, Dragon Warrior Dinosaur. Why is it called Dragon Warrior there, but it's called Fallen Warrior in the in the? I don't know. But let me take a wild guess. Uh, okay. Yep. Ananas Kiki Mastery Mission. Let me just take a random check. Uh, yeah. It seems like it's gonna be the same exact style as uh. How it was with the uh, Bataille Dragon Cookie mission. Which, by the way, if anyone's wondering, hey, where's the Bataille Dragon Cookie Mastery video? It's coming out soon, but guess what? Uh, or maybe there's even a chance it won't ever come out. But that video didn't end with me completing it, I can tell you that much, because I was close. Like, I got to around 80, but spoiler alert, that was just so much for me to do in that time span that I just could not do it. But anyway, now we got some new stuff going on over here, but of course, I'm gonna take this just for the gems. And I think, uh, would the same thing happen with the team fight? I guess not. But, yeah, whatever. Anyway, we go over to Cookie Trials, and I did get... I knew it was going to happen. I knew it just had to be Apple Cookie. Why wouldn't it be Apple Cookie? <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and claim this. Uh, Marble Bread Cookie's got some loot that I did record a Diamond Rank Time Track trial blah, 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 thing for. Uh, Plumbing, here we go. And uh, 500, 600, that's an extra 1,100. I'll take that. But check this out. Now, Ananas also has a trial for their own. So that's just plubbing fantastic, which does look a little bit more tropical, but I also got to remember, I think, did Ananas have another trial in the past? I know Pataya did. I think Ananas did, because you know the pet. Anyway, with that being said, we do have the new pet, luckily, access to us. And uh, my Ananas is level 11 here, but I don't have access to the magic candy because I'm poor. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, yeah, there's the pack if you want to go ahead and buy it, but that's just for uh, getting multiples of the cookies. Now, if you're curious as to who Ananas Dragon Cookie is, then let me give you a little bit of a backstory, because there's also a high chance they probably changed up their story as well, so let's give it a quick speak. From the skies appeared a dragon with noble golden scales as radiant as the sun. Upon the island's tallest peak did the dragon decide to perch. All denizens, oh, well, all denizens of the island looked up in awe and presented various fruits as offering. The island was home to blooming, vibrant flowers and breathtaking waterfalls. A true paradise, overflowing with pride in the prestige of power of dragon kind, the dragon reigned supreme over the island. At times a merciful and benevolent protector, but in others a fearsome and relentless oppressor. And suddenly disaster struck. The towering offerings of fruit collapsed during a devastating earthquake. 
Rains and winds hammered the tower's remnants, concealing the once glimmering light. From the chasm appeared a small figure made of dough, reclusing themselves from sight. The biding of time continues, for the day spread their wings, and full glory has not yet arrived. So basically, they became a dragon, while all their fruit fell down, and it made them turn back into a cookie. That's basically what happened, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, if you're wondering what their skill does, it says it uses the power of dragon geomancy to soar through the air at given intervals, sending the rocks up to the sky, and while in the air, the rocks continuously fall, destroying nearby obstacles. Just before the flight ends, a massive boulder fails, or no, it falls, plummeting with the cookie to destroy everything around, level up for more plummet points. So it just smashes down to the ground, destroying everything. Great. Now, of course, they do have two associated pets being, you know, uh, Pineapple Mer, but the new Golden Worm Guard, which that's going to be the one that we're talking about, which ironically enough, both give the same amount of points. Plummet points. But it doesn't matter because this one's different, which I'm actually going to go ahead and buff up with a few crystals. One there. Uh, one there. And I'm actually going to use... No, save the potion. There we go. Level 4 seems about nice. Now, according to the story of this pet, it states, There exists a shield, tempered by the pouring rain and lighting, or lightning sent forth by a raging tropical storm, impenetrable by even the sharpest, most skilled blades. The Golden Worm Guard is the only offering to Ananas Dragon Cookie that was granted the honor of guarding their side. And to this day, none dares lay hand nor claw on the Golden Dragon. The Golden Worm Guard's fierce battle cry is an omen of imminent victory. I thought I was going to say omen to imminent battle, which, to be fair, either or... You know, I'll, I'll take whatevs. But also, with that being said, according to the skill of this thing, it says, At regular intervals, moves ahead and transforms into a golden shield. The golden shield gathers divine energy, which slows down the energy drain. And after gathering divine energy, the shield strikes the ground to emit shockwaves, destroying nearby obstacles. This skill occurs three times in a row, with the final round emitting an even more powerful shockwave. Level up for more slower energy drain after transforming into the golden shield, and more shockwave points, and more points for powerful shockwave points. How many, how many times has the word shockwave just been said there? Like, just shockwave, shockwave points, and more shockwave points. But anyway, and that being said, I don't, does Ananas have an associable treasure? No, it's just the pets. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing else to really talk about. Basically, I don't think there's any chance that I'm going to be able to get the magic candy for Ananas Dragon, like, super soon. If I am, that'd be cool. Because I do want to showcase that off, but I think the only way how I can do that, especially for another video, is if I were to... Perhaps, let's say, uh, get the legendary costume, and then I could talk about both the legendary costume and the magic candy. But I want to test out how far I can at least get, so let's see how destructive we can get. Especially, at the very least, I want to check out the new trial, because I think this would be nice and neat to show off. Okay, this is going instant. Okay, there's a lot of falling, and uh, the pet just grew to a giant size of, like, a head. Or fall there's a lot of rainbow bear jellies. Hold on, wait, can I take a breather? Can we just take a second to just, like, calm down? Like, oh, the game was freezing a little bit there? What the heck? These things are just being destroyed. I think that has to do with the treasure. Oh, of course. It oh. Oh, wait. This, oh, no. That was a skill from, uh, what was it? What was it? Don't ask me what the club happened there. I can't even explain to you. My phone tried to do ghost hand again. Uh, but that's something that occurred during, uh, does anyone remember the, uh, the Long End Dragon Paradise? Uh, the, no, Lustful Long End Paradise. That's what it was. There was a, uh, thing there where you can actually, like, collect these little bubbles that activate the cookie's skill. And that was the one that activated uh, Ananas is right there. That also appeared in the same uh, weight, the same light. Uh, where it just made uh, cookies like, well, I guess also cookies, but like specifically made enemies or obstacles just float up in the air and then explode. So, or, or just smash them down to the ground, which is something that Ananas would definitely do. I don't expect to get far in the trial, especially without the magic candy, because uh, unfortunately, when it comes to getting the magic candies, uh, they are rare to get. And I guess, like, the only realistic way, like, where you can get them easily, like, just instantly, if you want to go ahead and instantly get the magic candy, is you have to buy them. You have to buy the ingredient, and then you have to craft them, and it's just ridiculous. Now, of course, you can get them for free. Uh, to, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I thought that was a background effect. That's why I got hit right there. Uh, okay, I can still land on these. Uh, but you can still get them for free just by, like, doing whatever needs to be done that can possibly get them. However, right now is definitely not the time where I can get it, which sucks because I like showing off new content. However, that's really not the case when uh, it's really this update is legendary heaven. Which, to be fair, it's nice. That, it's nice that they're focusing on buffing up old legendaries, but like, yeesh, I do not have the patience nor the money for that. Because like, you gotta bear in mind. I think just for a magic anything, that's like around ten bucks, and just for that's like for maybe like a level one if you're lucky. Okay, just stay up here. You should hopefully be fine. 
I do kind of like the vibe of this route. I feel like it could, like, I don't know how to feel about it, but, like, like I mentioned, I did like it, but, like, man, I'm just going through multiple emotions today, man. Uh, but, like, oh, yeah, I'm just straight up out of energy. 270 million points. That's weak sauce. I swear that. But, you know, it's, I say it's weak, but, like, Emerald 2, that's got to mean something. Okay, well, I'm probably going to boost up the pet just by a little bit, because I still got some things I need, uh, sorted. Uh, like, for example, this. Ta-da. Open that up and it gives me nothing. Uh, but as I mentioned before, like, there's the magic candy. However, there's only two ways, as far as I know, that you can get it. Uh, like, over here, forgetting the ingredient. It's either the Raid Run or Surprise Bear, which... Hmm. Real quick, if I go over to Raid Run, I'm gonna go over to, uh, Raid Chest. Uh, bonus, uh, maybe we can crack this one instantly. Maybe there's a small chance that we can get something, like a legendary thing, but... Uh, that'll be for then. This is being for now. But if we go back, there's really nothing else we can do other than like getting it from a surprise bear, which that even seems less likely to be happening. But whatever the case is, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do another run. But I am gonna buff this low critter up by just a few good amount. I got like level up, cool. A few mana crystals. Uh, I think level level seven's gonna be our cutoff because like yeesh, we're spending a lot. Speaking of which, I need to go to rewards. I'm going over to the Gem Exchange Center, and I am going over to, uh, take all these. And also, I'm taking all your Rainbow Cubes. There we go. And speaking of which, I'm also going to take all your Cookie Potions, just in case. With that being said, I'm also going to take your Pet Potions, just in case. Wait, all of them, please. Okay, and, uh, that'll be cheeky, I'll get this. Because, uh, with the costumes, there's a high likelihood that I hopefully get it. I'm praying, but level 7 is this pet where it's at now. So, uh... That's great, and I can't upgrade the cookie anymore. And you gotta bear in mind, this, this, with Pataya, oh, God. sheesh, I suck at speaking today. With Pataya Dragon Cookie's trial, and also Ananas's trial now, they both have hard modes. So be excited for that, because there's a high likelihood that I'm gonna have to spend a lot of crystals and a lot of money just upgrading them and upgrading their magic candy, even if I ever get to it. Because I don't even have Pataya's Dragon, Pataya's magic candy at level one. Because I don't even have it yet, which I think I'm very close to getting. I think... I say that with heavy regard. I think I'm very close to getting, but, ugh, uh, sheesh, it's just, <sighs> talk about being a valuable dragon, but this applies to both Pattaya Dragon and also Anana, so it really doesn't matter, which, that's still a little Easter egg I actually did enjoy, where, uh, it was with the, uh, coupon codes giving you, like, what was it, uh, 500, or like, no, no, it was 300 rainbow cubes, but that's when you put in the Pattaya Dragon cookie coupon code. When you put in the Ananas Dragon Cookie, could be, uh, the Ananas Dragon Cookie coupon code, you get 301 Rainbow Cubes. Just smallly but surely implying the uh, value of the dragon. And which, which was a funny joke in the guild whenever they had, you know, the guild coins available. Uh, does anyone remember that? When guild coins were a thing in uh, Cookie Runs guilds? When that's where you could also like buy the legendary dragons whenever you had the opportunity. Uh, and literally every single one of them was 4,500. Which actually, no. Lotus... Pattaya and uh, Lychee were 4,500. Ananas Dragon was 4,501. And that was funny, but then the joke died because Longan ended up being like 5,000. Which makes sense because basically, if you want to really be technical with like the origins of dragons and like, you know, how they treat each other, Longan is genuinely the most like valuable dragon out of every single one considering that they're basically the lever of making everything become how it is right now in regards to story in regards to lore all that stuff with the dragons transforming into their real dragon forms it's just a whole it's a whole wild can of worms and right now i'm feeling like a bird <laughs> feeling like an early bird to the nighthawks i don't know i honestly f a fun fact for a little bit uh i think it was actually since like yesterday uh, I had actually gotten a little bit more sleep better in the daytime, which that's something I didn't expect myself to get, but, hey, it's shocker, right? You never know what can happen when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, so I think a double jump right there. Yeah, okay, so I get that jump. It's kind of tricky to kind of learn how that works, but it's whatever. We got it done. And even after this, I have to swap over from respecting a plumbing dragon to running with a plumbing child. And by that, I mean... That was the most insulting thing you could have ever done, game. I want to do that again, just so I can actually reach the bonus time. That was so sad. I just got confused at the end and didn't reach it. But I don't even think it, it it's worth it. Because, oh my gosh, man, I'm so... Give me one plumbing second. Go here. We go right here. Uh, we're with the magnetization thing. And then we go over here and we land it. Alright, finally we're plumbing here. 
Now, you may be wondering, why am I saying finally? Was it really that hard? I'll be honest, not really the first time I actually had this fully recorded, but then for some reason my recording software crashed, so I had to literally go back here just to show this off all over again, which I also had to show off something much more interesting even after this, because uh, after this, my skill can activate again, and boom. But, let me just go on a little bit of rant fest here. Uh, for some reason, while I was trying to get back here to get to the uh, breakout, which, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, by the way, best high score somehow, I beat my last one. Which, by the way, it's impressive how Ruby 1 happened. I'm not even joking, which I already stated that before. However, here's where it gets interesting. When I got back there, lit apparently for some reason my recording crashed midway through. I don't know why, but it just did. So, I had to re-record myself getting back to this again. And not once, not twice, but three times the stupid ghost touch glitch happened to my phone. Which means, you know, if you've, if you've been on this channel before, it just basically means for the recent amount of months, it does this glitch where, like, it just disables all controls and, like, either keeps holding the buttons down longer than I intend or just makes me not be able to touch anything for, like, two seconds at least. And it just ruins me. I think this recording alone has made me prove that I, I should just start recording this on PC. Like, on Google Play Games. Like, I'm going to be honest. I cannot stress with this hassle anymore of getting hit by things that I don't intend to get hit by. But it's not even the game's fault, because I know... I, I, on, I, I did a full, like, soft reset. Like, a factory reset on this phone. That didn't fix anything. It's literally fun. So... I'm just gonna start recording this on PC. I don't give anything. And this probably I don't even think I have any time to do that playing Apple Cookie time trial anymore. Because if I did, then that's gonna be a whole can of worms and stress by itself. So I'm probably just not gonna do that for once. And maybe it'll come back in the future. Maybe I could just do Apple Cookie trial, whatever. I don't care. I don't know. Who cares? I'm just gonna end the video here before it somehow crashes again. So with that being said, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kick run YouTube stuff for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.